Okay, we'll get started in about one minute, so feel free to hop on. All right, it is 2.30, so let's, uh, let's get started. Um, we're going to go over a little bit about uh, print campaigns and email campaigns, all of which can be managed straight through command uh, and, and targeted directly to your database. So first, uh, what we will do is we will hop up here, open up our menu, slide over here to campaigns. pop right up here and we're going to start with uh, print campaigns now both of these facets of the system will uh, rely heavily on the designs aspect of things um, we've gone over that a bunch of times and we'll go over it again in the future but I'm not going to spend too much time today talking about designs uh, I want to talk more about just the general functionality of these two pieces of the system so we're gonna hop on here and we're gonna start with, um, let's start with direct mail. Obviously I don't have any campaigns running right here or they would show up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a new campaign, direct mail. Let's uh, advertise a listing and give it a name. And so there's a, a couple different uh, ways to create a campaign. There's default templates or custom templates. Uh, it's your, if it's your first campaign, you're gonna most likely wanna start with a template and then save that template as one of your own custom ones and then work from that in the future. Uh, so for today, we'll start with the template provided and we'll set up campaign. Okay, and here it is. So if you've done any sort of social media campaigns, Facebook campaigns, Instagram, anything like that, it's pretty much the same process, but here we actually get to design the postcard or flyer that we're gonna be sending out. So I'm gonna throw in an address here. Change my filters. go select this one here all right so you can see it's pulling over all of the listing information already which is fantastic uh, it pulled in the listing price everything from the MLS so that's great so we'll hit save there and we'll just work our way down through here so we pick the listing photo we can pick from anyone from the MLS There it is right there. Save that one. Oh, low res. Very cool. All right. All right, well, let's, um, let's see if we can continue without it. All right, no, we can't. So let's go back. Let's switch this listing to something that has a better photo. Change our filters here. Here we go, we'll do this one in Brockton, Massachusetts. If you've done any of these trainings before, you'll notice uh, that I, you'll recognize this listing, the one with the big white garage door on there. Okay, so that's good. Uh, that's too long, so I'm just gonna edit this down a little bit. Okay, this is fully customizable. We'll say it's one bedroom and way too many bathrooms just to be fun and we'll save that cool go up here we'll actually select the new listing photo 
Why are they all low res? Let's see. Do I have any on my desktop? We'll use this flyer. <laughs> it's still saying it's low resolution. All right, let me try one more. Do a little logo here. I might be saying the same thing. All right, well, we'll keep working our way down, see what we can figure out here. All right, we go in here, choose the agent. You can add an agent photo. It's not low res there. I'm confused. That's all right. We'll keep working our way down here. Okay. We choose the market center. Obviously, this was not one of our listings, so it's pulling in the market center information. Uh, if it is your listing, then it will populate your market center. Okay, verify that address. Main Street. you confirm the format okay work our way down and the targeting so just the way that uh, the Facebook campaigns works you can either target strictly your database and you can choose which contacts you would like to add from your database you can filter them by the tags um, so you're just marketing to those specific people in your database or you can do local targeting. We'll save that. And you choose your budget. 200 postcards, $118, great. And over here on the right, you can choose uh, the different sizes of your postcard, whether it's four by six, six by nine, so on and so forth. So let's do the six by nine. You can see it's larger, so the price increased a little bit here. We'll keep moving down. Now, if you wanted to do any sort of tracking, it'll add a QR code. And using that QR code, it'll go right to your landing page. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, it can go to any of the landing pages that you have created within your command account. Um, and that uh, we actually have a class next week talking about agent web websites and landing pages. So feel free to jump on that. Uh, but yeah, so you can do that or you don't have to. It's completely up to you. And you move to configure targeting. Oh no. All right. Let's see what we got here. This is what happens when you try to try to move through some things here. Apologies for the lagging. Let's see what we got. All right, so I do need a higher resolution photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab one, I'm gonna pause this recording 
And uh, if you're on Facebook, you're just watching me. But I'm going to pause the recording and uh, and and I'll uh, be right back. All right, we're back up and running. All right, so I got a uh, higher res photo, and I'm updating the address here. There we go. So now you can see everything here is checked green, and then you can move to step two to configure your targeting. Yes, I am sure I want to create this campaign. Excellent. So here it is building the campaign in the background and now you're going to work really on your detailed drilled down targeting. Um, and it's really interesting. So you really get to drill down and tailor the area in which you want to, to farm here. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. So you can see that it pulled the address of the listing in, in question. You can choose the number of homes to target. 100. Scroll down just a little bit. You can decide on the property types. Square footage you're built, you can narrow it down. If you want to set it standard or first class mail. And depending on what you choose, the price will change a little bit. And you can also send a copy to your address as well, just so you know that it went out and you can see what the quality of it was. Um, you can hit next when you're good to go. And then it's as pretty much as making a payment here. Keller Williams has partnered with a printing company. So what they will do is they will print and mail all of your postcards for you. So um, you pretty much go to, oh, you can see your preview here, my apologies. So you can see here's the front, added the um, this here, and all the MLS details on the back. Scroll down here, and this is where you can make your payment. Okay. And then off it goes. And that is your uh, direct mail campaigns. Um, let's see. So in theory, yep. All right, so now you can see that that campaign that I just created is now here, just like in your Facebook campaigns. Uh, it's right here, and it's uh, able to be viewed. You can see when it was created, when it was sent, um, if you have those QR codes activated on there, you can see how many leads it generated. Uh, what a lot of agents will do is they'll uh, create a landing page strictly for this direct mail campaign. And they'll put that QR code on the back of the, the, the postcard. And when people go to that website, they'll generate a lead. They'll put in their information and submit it to you. And the system will track exactly how many leads were generated from that specific landing page. So you can really see how, um, how effective and what your return on your investment is on these postcards. And it's really a fantastic, uh, fantastic spot right here, a little nice little stat. You can see how many it was sent to, and you can see what the goal was. Okay, any questions here? No, I think we are good for now. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, all right, so we're in the direct mail section. Uh, what I wanna show you next is the email section. So we are still in the campaigns applet right here, into emails. Okay, we don't have any marketing campaigns yet, and that's all right. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna do, uh, an email campaign. This should look very familiar to you if you just watched the last one. Okay. Uh, you can choose how you're going to send these out, whether it's through command email or through MailChimp. Uh, command email is free, so uh, you can do it right through that, or you can send it out through your MailChimp account if you set that up and you combine, uh, connect the two. All right, so now you can see uh, which account it's coming from. So Cindy's account, and you're gonna to wanna to see where you're sending it. So you can go ahead and create an email list, and it's just pulling up your contacts here. Okay, 
you can select everyone and you can see it selected all of them or you can narrow it down by tag just like you could with the uh, with the last campaigns okay so we got that done good excellent you can write your subject And here is your content. So this is the actual email that you're going to send. So um, if you've created email templates already, this is where they'll be showing up. If you would like to use one of the uh, templates that KW has provided, simply click into their templates here. And here are all of their templates. There's 41 in all. But let's see if we want to do just a classic buy versus rent. Okay, we'll click on that one. And it will load it up here. So I will I will say this, uh, the email editor is not the best just yet, but it works. Um, and especially if you use the templates that they provide, there might not be much editing that you have to do in, in the long run anyway. Uh, they are working on updates to it, but as of right now, it's good. Um, you may just need to uh, add different images. Let's see here. So to do that, all you have to do, delete this section, drag and drop wherever you'd like it. There it is. And then it will ask you to select an image. Use the high res one that I got from the last last campaign. And it pops it right in there. Okay, you can edit that. So you can uh, decide where it would where you'd like it to link to, whether it be a panning tape, landing page, etc. Um, or you could change the width and the height. So 200 by 200. Save and exit that. Oh, that exited the whole campaign. So you can see <laughs> exactly why this uh, still needs a little bit of work, but um, here we go. So you can see it right here. Here's the email that it that it created for you. You can edit any of this information, which I imagine you'd want to. Uh, it'll pull your settings from the marketing profile right down here. And there's your email. Um, if you need to re-edit that, you can always update your design. Or you could send a test email. You can schedule it to go out at a different time, which is really nice. Or you could just see a little preview here, uh, and it'll show you a preview of what the email will look like. And if you click up here, you can see what it'll look on it. Desktop, iPad, cell phone. All of this is editable, customizable. And then all you have to do is click send. I'm not going to do that because I don't actually want to send this out. But that's the end of it. And then it goes out. Um, are there any questions with, with email campaigns? Okay, good deal. Um, so if you do link, I'm gonna stop sharing just for a second, but if you do end up linking um, your command email account, which is free, it'll send it out from your email address, it replies will come to you. Um, if you set that up, uh, you get 5,000 free emails a month. And I know that a lot of people use MailChimp and that costs money, but this is another way that you could save uh, money just by using this system and it'll target your database. It, um, it, it's just very simple. So it's just another, another way to look at this, uh, another way to save money using KW technology. Uh, but if you have any questions about email or print campaigns, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to assist. Uh, if I'm not around, feel free to check out answers.kw.com. And just a reminder, at this time next week, 2.30 Tuesday of next week, uh, we'll be talking about aging websites. So agent sites, landing pages, um, 
all of those, we'll be talking about building those and utilizing those to uh, help your business. So I look forward to seeing you and I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. All right, take care. Bye.